Hey, what's up? This is Václav here. There's been a lot going on with my custom integration for scheduling events, the garbage collection. Something I've been planning to do for about six months, maybe longer, thinking about how to do it. Because over the time, I've been getting new and new requests to add new features, uh, new options to handle different scenarios, different exceptions. Uh, and I've been doing it in the beginning, but then what happened was, as I was getting more and more, it was getting kind of very complicated and complex, hard to configure, also unreliable because for the integration to go through all the different options and scenarios and the combination of those, it was getting very hard to maintain. So what I have decided to do is uh, stop accepting those new features. Uh, so I rejected a couple of those, but then I decided to offload this functionality into Home Assistant Standard Automation Blueprint because this became quite powerful over time. So in the beginning of this year, I made a new release which allows for a manual update that calls an automation where you can further tweak and customize the uh, calculated uh, schedule uh, through the automation. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to use it. I'm gonna show you a couple of blueprints I created but also, I would like you to be ready for the March release where I'm going to go back to the automation and I will make uh, and remove a couple of those parameters and simplify it and streamline it because uh, most of those functionalities about the holiday handling and including excluding dates and the offsets, I already created uh, the uh, blueprints for it and I created new integration for holidays which could be used actually not only for the garbage collection, but for other things as well. So uh, I'd like you to get ready for it because in March, uh, there's gonna be a breaking change. Also, I'm moving the configuration from the YAML into the config flow, and there is an automatic import and conversion of that. So I'm gonna show that to you as well. So let me show you where you find it in the documentation first. So this is the GitHub page uh, for the garbage collection. Uh, and there is a table of content. Here there's the manual update uh, where there's the explanation how to use that. There is a prerequisite. So you have to, in the collection, enable the manual update and then you can pick one of those blueprints and uh, you're all set. Now, how it works, a little bit more advanced. If you scroll further down, there is advanced detail. It says uh, when you configure manual update, it will trigger event garbage collection loaded. So let me show you how it looks like. So this is the event and the event will be called with those attributes. And there is even some examples. So let me show you the simple one just to show you the principle how it works. So this is an automation triggered by the event garbage collection loaded for the entity ID sensor.test. Now, what the automation is gonna do is, I'm going to add a date, the 7th of January, 2022. So I'm gonna call the service garbage collection add date to the entity ID sensor test in this case, I'm using the variable in here, and I'm going to add a date uh, 7th of January 2022 and then I'm going to call the service update state and there are some more advanced examples here or you can also look at those blueprints so if you want to create a custom scenario this is where you find the instructions and inspiration but for now let me show you how to use those standards blueprints uh, let's start with uh, creating an offset so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the home assistant and I'm going to create a new integration for garbage collection and I'm gonna call it test. It's gonna be weekly on Wednesday and I'm gonna leave everything else on default. So with that, I have created this Wednesday collection called test happening every Wednesday. Then I'm gonna go to this side and I'm going to import this blueprint from offset because I don't have one yet. So I'm gonna just open the link in here. It'll open it with the new home assistant. 
Here you can preview the blueprint and if you like you can check what it does but I'm not gonna go into that right now. I'm gonna just import the blueprint. From there you can create an automation. I'm gonna call it test garbage collection offset by let's say minus one day. Uh, I'm going to select the entity so I'm gonna do the test sensor and I'm going to say minus one day and save that. So it's going to create the automation. So I'm going to select the test entity. I'm going to configure it and in here click on the sensor state updated manually by calling the service. Then I'm going to submit it the first screen. See it's uh, calculating for Wednesday. So I'm going to submit it, submit it. And now when the integration configuration has been updated, it will trigger the update. So when I go to the calendar, you will see it's not on Wednesday, but it's on Tuesday because it was offset by one day by the automation. Uh, let me show you how the automation worked. So I'm going to go to the automation call for the test and I'm going to uh, debug it to show you what it does. So as you see, it was triggered by the event garbage collection loaded. There is a day when it was uh, triggered. You could see the variables that uh, came with the event. So there's the entity ID sensor test and then there is a list of calculated collection days. So from uh, 2021, 2022 and till the end of 2023. So the automation has been triggered and what it does is it loops through this code. So it will count uh, all of those collection dates and with each of them it will call service garbage collection offset date with the offset minus one because this is the uh, variable set in here. So if you look at that these are all the different iterations first iteration second third and so on and it picks always one of those dates and calls the service uh, offset date with offset minus one. And the reason I'm showing that to you is this is quite a useful tool if you're creating your own automations so you can debug and see what it does if it works and if it doesn't you know why. And usually it shows an error uh, showing you what's wrong. So this was a simple but stupid example because if you wanted to do each Wednesday an offset minus one you could have configured it for Tuesday anyway so I'm going to just remove this one. And let's create something more interesting. Because uh, what I have done is I've created this, uh, another integration called Holidays. And what it'll do is it will allow you to configure holidays for the country, create calendar and create a list of holidays that we can use uh, for the uh, manual update automation. I've registered that for the hacks. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting for them to register it because for some reason uh, it takes them quite a long time to register it. Uh, I have registered that um, six days ago and there's quite a few in the queue uh, and the last one is 29 days old. So hopefully uh, within uh, less than a month, two or three weeks, it should be included. Uh, so if you want to have it before that, what you could do is uh, you can go to my uh, repository and you can grab it from there and you can just take this directory holidays and copy it to your custom components in Home Assistant and you can run it from there, which is what I'm going to do. So what I have in here in the custom components, I have the holidays copied over and I have uh, obviously restarted my Home Assistant. So under my integrations, I can add integration holidays and I'm going to say it's US, US holidays and I'm going to select it for the United States uh, and I'm going to leave the rest on the default, submit and it will create the, this new integration. Uh, I can look in the calendar, so it created a new calendar for US holidays, you can see they are in here. And uh, it also created uh, an entity, 
calendar US holidays and it says it's 29 days till the next holiday and there is the list of holidays that the blueprints are using so let's do that so I'm going to go to my uh, garbage collection I'm gonna go to the blueprints for public holidays I'm gonna pick the one for there is one for skip holiday which is a new functionality I did not have in my previous integration so it's already something new but I'm gonna do for the holiday in week functionality so I'm gonna go for this one I'm going to open the link preview import there's the holiday in week so I'm gonna create automation I'm gonna do it for the test again I'm gonna pick up the test uh, sensor and for the holidays I'm going to pick up the US holidays I'm gonna save it and now I need to trigger the update again so I'm gonna go to the uh, test configure it and I'm gonna just submit everything again just trigger the update and now when I go to the calendar you should see that because last week was a public holiday it did move the collection from Wednesday till Thursday and obviously it didn't move it uh, in here in December because the public holiday happened after the collection so I can look at further months there's another public holiday and it moves it uh, by one day again obviously if you don't want to see those public holidays you can turn them off and you can see just the collections I'm using it just to show you the dates other than that you can just check the test entity that is showing you the state the next collection days and so on so that was the the biggest change the other step is uh, I'm stopping support uh, for the configuration in the configuration.yaml in the uh, documentation it's uh, listed as deprecated for some time and I thought it's the time uh, to simplify that because again it was making the whole configuration a little bit complicated because I was supporting both but I just didn't want to remove it and ask you to reconfigure it I was looking for a way to import the configuration from the configuration.yaml inside the config flow so this is what I've done so let me show you how it works uh, I have now updated uh, the configuration on my side so if I look at my integrations I have only the test one uh, the other ones that are created are created by configuration.yaml let me show you where it is so there in here uh, this is the configuration on uh, the uh, in, in the packages what I'm using so I have updated uh, my integration so if I'm going to restart it now So when everything is started, uh, I should see uh, my garbage collection here as well. Still waiting for the uh, update. There you go. And if I go uh, to the integration configuration, uh, you see that all of those were imported and I can now change the config, all of those different entities, all of those dates, everything was imported in the config flow. So this is uh, great news now if I'm going to change the logs uh, if you have the debug started you could see that it's importing the config uh, from the configuration.yaml so you can check it out in here but if I start it again I'm gonna restart the home assistant It will figure out that uh, it's been already imported so it will not import it again in fact if you check your logs it will uh, create an error that the garbage collection is already imported and will ask you to remove it from the configuration yaml now so i'm creating this error for you just as a reminder so i'm gonna go in here and i'm going to remove all of that so on the next start it won't show the error again so this is going to be included in the uh, next release uh, in a couple of days 
The other thing I'm going to do in this uh, release is uh, I'm going to mark a couple of uh, parameters uh, obsolete. So the offset, the uh, include dates and exclude dates, as well as the holidays. So I'm going to mark those obsolete and it's going to be released sometimes in March where I'm going to remove those parameters and simplify the configuration quite a bit because now you can do all of that through the blueprints. So this is coming up sometimes in March and then it's going to be another breaking change where I'm going to be asking you to uh, reconfigure that to use the blueprints. So this is coming in March. Uh, so if you're using things like the country holidays and you want to get ready for it, uh, you can move on and uh, remove this configuration from the integration and configure it to use the blueprints with the manual update and at least you can test that and uh, get ready and let me know how it works. So that's that. I hope you were as excited about this as I am. Um, I wasn't completely sure I should uh, do it in the very beginning. I was hesitating. Uh, part of this time was I was thinking but I was also thinking well should I do it? After all, it's a breaking change. I'm breaking something, changing something, so you would have to change your configuration. So this is why I was asking questions in the release notes for that I didn't get any feedback. I had a ticket on the GitHub uh, where a few of you responded that it looks like it's a move in the right direction. Uh, you agreed with my conclusions. So at the end, over the Christmas, I decided to give it a go. And as I was doing it, actually, I, I, it was a confirmation for me that actually it worked quite well, surprisingly well. So I'm really pleased that I made uh, the move. Uh, also, um, with the integration as it was, I pretty much stopped the development. So I froze it. I didn't develop it any further. It was kind of still for a couple of months. So now, as you probably noticed, there's been quite a lot of new development thanks to this change and we are in the beginning so we can carry on and you can contribute with additional automations and blueprints without breaking anything because it's completely scalable you can add them without influencing the others which is a great thing we didn't have that before and you can be part of this uh, community that you can contribute automations uh, blueprints from your area from your country which I'm really looking forward to because uh, most of the integration is only done by me. There was few people contributing. There was uh, one guy uh, who did the uh, holiday in week move. So that was great. It was a really first contribution to the uh, functionality of the application. Uh, there was few of you who contributed with uh, adding translations. So thanks for that as well. This is making it great. But in terms of the functionality, now you can actually be part of this. So this is cool. I'm really looking forward to work uh, on this together. And with that, uh, I'm going to close the video in here and I see you in the next one. Bye.